What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC for Emergency Monday. That is right. It is Monday. Monday. I hope you all are having a great start to your uh, week today. Hope it's going well. We're on the Brooklyn map. Once again, my favorite map remaining. At the moment, we're remaining engine 234. We may hop around a little bit, but we're on engine 234 and ladder 123. Uh, we're going to do a little Brooklyn gameplay and we're going to see what kind of calls we get and maybe even save a few people. I know that sounds crazy, right? Spur saving people like usually <laughs> as, one of, uh, as one of my commenters said, uh, they look like charcoal by the time we're done. But uh, we're going to try to prevent that today. We're going to do the best we can. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hop to it. Get started. All right, guys, a little simple call here we got. Let's see, what does it say? It's going to be for uh, first alarm, uh, non-structure. Uh, it'll be a water leak. It's a water leak apartment, 3A, on, uh, I guess, the corner of Buffalo Avenue and Ralph Avenue, I'm assuming. I don't know, but we're going to uh, we're going to head that way and help out with the water. Uh, question for you fire buffs. Uh, do they respond with siren to water leaks? I don't know. I don't know. I probably need to research that on um, on YouTube's wealth of knowledge. There's lots of good uh, uh, fire department, or at least uh, I like to watch the, the uh, New York fire department uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, there's a few good ones on there. A few good channels. All right, let's go ahead and knock the parking brake off. We're just going to roll down there, chill. We're not going to use the siren. We're just going to cruise on down there and... Uh, then we get this water leak taken care of. Now, I remember the first time I saw them responding or got a water leak call in game, I was like, that's ridiculous. They don't like that. You call a plumber for that, right? You don't call the fire department, but it's actually true. They do respond to um, to water leaks. So we'll, uh, we'll ease on down there and see if we can find it and uh, get it stopped. All right, let's see. It should be right up here on the left. Somewhere, one of these businesses, I think it said apartment 3A, right? Double check that. Uh, 3A, yes, apartment 3A. So that's what we're gonna go with. I bet it's right here at uh, Walter's Carpets. Walter's Carpets, getting a few stutters here and there. Lag, overall the lag seems to be a little better since I set my uh, power management the other day. Uh, yesterday it was uh, it was on power saver I didn't I don't remember putting it on there but it was I'm imagine maybe an update did that or something who knows but uh, I put it back to balanced and that seems to uh, to have helped it out let's go ahead and get turnout gear and of course yeah drop his pike do that all right let's go let's uh, go inside and see what we can find oh yeah I hear it I hear it I hear the waters Let's see, should be this floor, this door, right? Uh, yes, it is. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> we Bingo! found it. Nice. All right. Go ahead and get it caught. Here, uh, cut off. Taken care of. Nice. All right. It, it, was just, it looked like just a faucet running. Okay. All right. Well, all right. First call is uh, done and taken care of. So uh, we're going to call this one clear. And we'll see what else we get called out for, guys. All right, back at the station. We're just chilling out for a little bit, waiting on our next call, hanging out with uh, 123 and 234, my favorite trucks. And my favorite truck and engine in the game. I don't know why. I just gravitate to these guys. I like this one a lot. Very cool. Very cool station, too. You got a lot of uh, neat stuff in here to look at. Of course, we don't have battalion up in here. Uh, they never respond. Like, I try to get them to respond, but they don't ever show up. So, uh, we just left them out. All right, that would be us, guys. Another call going to be a uh, trash fire. Trash fire. I don't think we've done any of these before in uh game. So, we're going to be rolling to a, uh, a trash fire on Atlantic Avenue in Bergen Street. Uh, just engine 234. So, we'll definitely do that uh, license iron. All right, get you cut off. Good. All right, for you guys that are experienced with uh, multiplayer, let me know in the comments, how does it work out for you? I'm Like, I've done it twice. 
with just one other person. But uh, let me know, like, I'm curious if you get a lot of people in multiplayer. Um, if you get a lot of people in multiplayer, does it get laggy? Like, does does the number of people in your multiplayer session have any effect on performance? Those are things that I'm kind of uh, thinking about ahead of time, so... Let me know in the comments uh, your experience with multiplayer sessions with multiple people, more than two, because I've done two. I know what that's... I know what that's like. Alright, let's see. Let me focus on uh, where we're going here. Ah, there it is. Alright. Let's get it. No one done left the uh, lit cigarette butt in the trash. Alright, this should be easy peasy. Alright, let's hop out. And we'll grab the water can for this. We don't need a hose. We'll grab the water can. I've never, I don't think I've ever used this in a video. So we're going to show you guys uh, about the water can here. Very simple. <laughs> really? You're going to make me wear, uh, surely not. I was going to say we're not wearing air, uh, our air to put out a, uh, a trash can fire. Like that's ridiculous. Okay. We're good. Fire's out. Crisis averted. People don't put your cigarettes in the uh, trash can. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll hop back in the truck and uh, we'll see about one more call. All right, we're back with another call. Uh, this is going to be House Fire Residential 227-222-234, uh, ladder 123, tower ladder 111, dying 38, supposed to respond. It's going to be on Jefferson Street. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't understand the addresses on this. It says box 1616, 1077 Jefferson Street, and then it says Ralph Avenue and ha Howard Avenue. So I don't understand that. It's private dwelling. Uh, if you know the uh, address like format on here, let me know. Uh, I'm kind of interested in that. All right, let's go ahead and get the truck started. Light zone, parking brake off. Brake off, and uh, let's get going. Yeah, you know what? We'll get the doors down. I don't usually shut them, but uh, they actually do. They actually shut them. All right, let's go. Alright, we should have trucks, uh, several units already there. So basically, we should just have to, uh, roll up. And is it this street right here? Yes, it is. Okay. This street and then one down. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I see him. Okay, we're good. All right, here we are. Let's we'll stop right here. All right, let's hop out. Let's see what we've got. Get our turnout gear. There we go. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go look for victims. We're the world's worst about that. We're gonna go inside and look for victims before we start putting out fires. We're gonna try it and see. I'd be willing to bet there's someone in there. It doesn't. It didn't say. Did it? It didn't say that there's anyone in there. Oh, it's popping off in here for sure. <laughs> Definitely some stuff going on in here. Uh, no one in the bathroom. Bathroom is clear. Check the back of the structure here and make, make sure the kitchen's all right. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. And what does it look like? Up oh, yeah, it's fully involved upstairs. Yes. <coughs> all right, let's get some air going as well. Let's go uh, first person too. I can't see. I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have fires. We do. We have lots of them. They're everywhere. Kind of a unique perspective going in without, like, putting uh, any uh, any water on it. thing is, it's such a pain in the butt to, uh, to turn around in first-person view. Like, I can't do it. I can't handle it. <laughs> All right, let's put some windows out here. 
Get that one going and uh, we'll get this into the wheel. There we go, nice. All right, uh, we've done a little bit. We're doing some damage already. Back downstairs, let's get that door shut. I don't need that open. And let's see, let's get all the windows. There we go. <laughs> yes, we gotta destroy some stuff. Here we're taking. Wow, look at that TV. That's like uh, that's like an old school TV there. That's like one my uh, grandmother had back in the day. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, yeah, we just checked that. We don't need to do that. We got any other windows we can bust? There we go. Want that one for good measure, and let's get this one. It's crazy. They've got that super dated TV, but they've got a really nice modern refrigerator. All right, let's uh, let's go back outside and let's see about getting some water established. Um, let's see what could we do? We could, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get a water supply. All right, so we'll use two, two, two. We'll use him to uh, get our air off. Film it on. There we go. All right, we got our water supply established. We got us a new air tank. Uh, we're gonna take it off for a second. We don't need it just yet. All right, let's go ahead and see about making entry and uh, knocking this fire down. All in the ceiling. This place is like fully involved. There we go, it's a little better. There's something so incredibly satisfying about putting water on a fire, right? Like actually knocking down a fire. Lots of hot spots in here. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff sprayed out. Try to save their TV. Ah, come on, you don't need to chirp, we're good. There we go. Get everything looking back to normal there. All right, let's go ahead. Let's continue our attack. Let's get up. I need to check this bathroom out right here. Uh, looks like it might be all right in there actually. Yeah, just some hot spots. We won't worry about that. Ah, it's so hard to move around with the uh, first person view. Anything in the back here, maybe? Yeah, we'll spray down all these <laughs> hot spots. Oh yeah, it's in the ceiling here. Damn, it just like burst into flames as we came in here. It's from all, from all upstairs. Going with it here. There we go. Sweet. I think that's good enough. Let's get ready to uh, to head upstairs. Where the bulk of the fire is going to be. Oh, yeah. Like something from the movie Backdraft, right? Who remembers that movie? Who ever watched that? I did, but it's been years ago. It's been many, many, many years since I've seen that. Probably all in the attic, too. All right, let's keep heading on up. There we go. Now we're making some headway. I think we're actually doing it's in the walls, too. I can see it in the walls. We definitely want to have to rip some sheetrock out when we're done with this. Man, it is everywhere. Holy crap. Pretty intense. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, get our tank going here.
I swap back and forth between uh, first and third person to knock us down. A little bit, it's, it's difficult for me to navigate through these doors and stuff in first. But it's really good for like actually putting water on the fire. It works out really well that way. Man, the upstairs is like totally gone. Need to go in here. Yes, we do. There we go. Nice. We're getting it. Gotta work on that attic. Seems like it's back down below us too. Maybe in the ceiling below us. It's back. It's back downstairs behind us now. Gotta keep going with it here. That's the thing about it, like when it's in the uh, when it's in the ceiling or in the walls, uh, it can creep out behind you. That's all in the ceiling here. Oh damn, yeah, like we put it out and it came right back. Grab another air tank. I've done this fire before. It's actually quite, it's it's pretty difficult to get put out. Like it just, it gets in the walls and the ceiling so bad. It's actually really hard to uh, to get out. We may, we may have to make this a purely exterior attack. It keeps going the way it is. All right, I think we got knocked back down again. All right, there we go, made it into the attic. Let's go ahead and get this uh, knocked down real fast and then we'll start overhauling. I know we got fire in the walls. We got a victim back here in the very back that has fallen through the uh, ceiling or at least partially through it. So we'll have to see about that. We got a lot of work to do. This has actually turned out to be a really big fire. Yeah, a little bit back here in the corner. Well. It just gets in these, uh, it gets in these walls and in these ceilings and just spreads like wildfire. I mean, it really just goes everywhere. Let's just go ahead and get all this knocked out. I don't want this wall right here. If we can knock these two by fours out as well. That would be great. Nice. <laughs> we'll just gut the entire interior through that. Let's just get all of it out of here. All right, we get these spots knocked out. Get that freaking table out of the way. Seriously, you're like, it's blocking every stream of water I put down. It wants to block it. All right, did we get it? Yeah, I think we did. Good enough. Good enough. Let's grab this. There we go. It's really easy to knock down. It's really easy to knock down when uh, you have fire in the wall, but. Stuck on something. I don't know what. There we go. All right, let's do a little more overhaul work here. And uh, we'll see about getting our victim, getting them out of here. I don't think there's like any chance of uh, 
helping that person, but uh, we'll see. We'll try to recover them at least. If we can find them. That's going to be like the problem is just finding them. That's them right there. Their head poking up. Okay. All right, we got our victim recovered. Let's go ahead and uh, lay him on the street here. He's not looking uh, too good. Not looking good at all. All right, let's double check him here, see what's going on. Uh, pre uh, patients in cardiac arrest is not breathing visible burns of breath for minutes. The Rest per minute zero. Yeah, uh, unfortunately this person didn't make it. Let's go ahead and uh, cover them up. Looks like they're charred up pretty good there, unfortunately. Uh, treatments. And cover body. There we go. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we're going to call it here. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Looking forward to hitting that uh, 600 sub milestone. And uh, if you are new to the channel, be, please be sure to uh, like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, love all of you. And with that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.